Hello, Carla. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Doing great. How's it going? Okay, this is a free time for you. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have prepared something. No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just came for work and I connect to the class. Okay. I um but I didn't know the book was on the platform. On the platform? Yes, platform. Uh, platform. Yeah, the book is on the platform. It should have Where is it? Let me show you right now. This question uh, uh, student's manual. That's the one, student's manual. Uh, mm -hmm. So you found it? Yes. Excellent, good. Yeah, it says student manual over here on the top. Mm -hmm. And you can, I think you can download it and print it. Yes, I, I find, you found him. find it yeah. today now. <laughs> the land, very good. Okay, let's go over. Any questions you may have? Uh, uh, maybe tips in order to be more fluent. To gain fluency, okay. To gain fluence. To get fluency, okay. Let's talk about that really quick. How do you become fluent? I'm going to ask you to watch um, a video, not right now, but I'll mm -hmm. ask Later. you to look for it, look for it on the internet. Uh, it's called the, the jam, the jam technique. The jam. jam technique. And Juliet Alpha Mary, J-A-M. It's a, it's a black guy, hold on. Just a minute. Jam technique. Okay. okay. Oh, am I sharing my screen with you? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. The jam technique. You see? This is a very used technique that will help you improve your fluency. Is yeah. it, it will give you some steps to follow, like you can select a topic in your mind. Any topic. Don't prepare, don't prepare nothing. And you mm -hmm. In front of the mirror, you have to go in front of the mirror and start talking. So let's talk about trains. Trains. And you set a, a stopwatch on your cell phone. Uh -huh. You go like, one minute. One minute. Go. Okay. Trains are great for transportation. They're a great mean of transportation. I think that in El Salvador, there are no trains. But in Europe, in other countries, there are trains. You keep talking. Okay. One minute. You stop. Okay. That's first one, first time. Second time, you do the same, but this time you take notes. Mm -hmm. Or actually, before doing the second time, you do mental notes and you start writing them. Then you go for the second round. Now you have the options already on post-its if you want in front of the mirror. You go, one minute, I have to the notes. Okay, do it again. And then for the third time, you will be more fluent, totally. But in short, what you should do at this point is something that I do since I was like seven years old. Uh -huh. And something that they told you that you shouldn't do when you were a kid, they told you, don't talk to yourself. Don't talk to yourself. Crazy people does that, right? Uh -huh. No. Albert Einstein used to talk to himself, you know, all the time. His classes, Albert Einstein, he used to, you know, yell at his students and it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him, Albert Einstein. So always talk to yourself. Imagine that you are in an exposition, that you are doing a speech in your company. Okay. And you have to present this up by yourself. What you are, while you're on the bus or you're driving, you're talking to yourself in Spanish, in English, you talk to yourself all the time. I do that. You do? That helps. Yes. It helps. It helps a lot. To prepare to, to when you have a presentation, a exposition or something. What do you do? It really helps. Uh, what? What do you do for work? Um, uh, I work at a bank. 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 
Mm -hmm. I um, I just type all day long. Oh, really? A lot of. I use Excel and Word, okay. Microsoft Word. Backup support. Okay. And that, I'm for for the computer almost every day. And you keep going at night. <laughs> I keep going at night. <laughs> okay. Then I have classes, not not only English class, just the really? university class. Oh, really? What are you studying? At UCA. At U okay, but what what are you studying? Ah, uh -huh. I'm studying industrial engineering. Industrial engineering. What year? Yes. Last. Last year. Yes, yeah. yes. Two, two subjects. <laughs> I respect. Really? Ah. Subject? Wow. Similar. Yes, it has to be a, a long ride. A long road. A long... A long road. A long journey. A long journey. You like journey? Sometimes lonely. Okay, I know. You like journey? The band? Uh, uh, journey. Journey. It's a band. An 80s. Ah, no. No, I didn't. Look for it. Okay, look journey. for journey. That's the way. But it's a Salvadorian or I don't know, it's rock. It's it's rock from the eighties. You ah. don't know it. They are the, the the singer wrote uh that song. What's the name of that song? Lying beside you here in the dark, here in your ah. heartbeat with mine. Ah, I can't remember the name of the song. But then Mariah Carey, Mariah <laughs> made it to Journey. It's an amazing, oh, come on. Don't stop believing. That's uh -huh. I don't remember the lyrics, but I. <laughs> the lyrics, okay. That's another way. Uh, That's another way. Sing, sing, sing. Sing, I like to, to watch movies oh. in English. Okay. Uh, you don't remember? So, don't lately without uh, subtitles. Without subtitles, you should turn on the subtitles, but in English. Subtitles. Uh, at my TV does not have English subtitles. Oh, okay, but some movies, some movies. Uh, okay, I like that idea. Okay. And the internet is rare to find English subtitles. Yeah. Unless I download it first. Um, hmm. PV Info. It's TV Info. Papa Victor, PV Info. That's an application on the Google's Play Store, and you can see free movies. With I have an iOS phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's five S. Okay. Yeah, you can find. Four. You can find it. Four. Too. Okay. Okay. Any other question you may have? Uh, not now. I'm I'm with my platform platform. Oh, excellent. I have to go. I have to admit Josue who's next, okay? Okay. okay. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Hello. Hello, Josue. How are you doing? Hello. Okay, Jose. Any questions? Yeah. Any questions that you have related to the grammar yeah. English? Yeah, I have a problem with this. Let me see. Check out this one. Okay, yes. I am connected, right? You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you better than I can see you. Yes, I have a problem with that. Yeah, and I can, and I tell you about the the first time you pass the the tense and you say my name. I have a problem with the microphone. I don't know what happened, but oh, I, I only put my phone up, right? Okay, now we have a problem with the video, but the audio is better. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rafael. You're welcome. So, um, yes, I I take a note about. You say uh, uh, you have uh, tools or techniques about uh, to talk more fluent, right? 
because I have a that problem with my ideas to to translate or to express. That's easy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So about speaking faster. Yes. Go to, uh, with more fluency. Go to YouTube and look for this video, the Jam Technique. Let's see. The spell, right? J A M. J and technique yeah technique but technique look at this jam technique i am okay so okay really quick how does it work it's called a just a minute just a minute that's the uh, acronym the acronym of jam so just for one minute you go in front of the mirror no papers no pencils no nothing just your cell phone and the stopwatch. And then you think about one topic. You can talk about anything, okay? If you have a friend, that's, that's yeah. good too, okay? You can tell him, okay, give me, a, give me a topic. And he can tell you girls, for example, girls. Okay, girls. Yeah. You said one minute on your cell phone and you go, one minute, the stopwatch. One minute, okay, yeah. two, three, go. Girls are beautiful, you know, they're the most splendorous thing that there could ever exist in the, wor in the world. Uh, my mom is a girl, you know, I love her and I adore her. It's different than being with a guy, you know, being with girls is different. One minute. Yeah. After one minute, if, if you finish the minute, okay? Yes. Uh -huh. After the minute, you can go like, oh my God. Then you do an introspection. Let's do it. That's yes. the introspection and you find... Uh, what you talked about the most. You find where you can extend more and you take notes, post-its. Okay? Oh, okay. And then go on the mirror again oh. and put a post-it with the, with the things that you mentioned and you count again. You do this exercise three times. The second time, since you have the post-its, it will be easier. And the third time it will be even easier, okay? will be even easier. In, uh, I uh, understand that you put the, the word that you repeat most, right, in the post, mm -hmm. or, or the word that you remember, say, yes. more. Yes, the words that you remember the most. The so most. Okay. Wa watch the video, he goes through these steps. Okay. On, uh, he doesn't have a good accent, I have to tell you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I see it is a, a pure, is like an Indian person, right? <laughs> I don't know. But. A Hindu person? Okay, and the second uh, thing, the second yes. thing I will recommend you is Rong Chan. This way, hold on. Rong okay. Chan. Rong, Rong Chan. Okay, let me take a note. Rong, Rong Chan. Okay, yes. There, you will click on the website. It's the first option, actually. Wrong chunk. And then you have to go to here. Here. Speaking is uh, easy. Speaking. Okay, you see? Speaking okay. is easy. Now you have, you have an index. You see? Yes, yes. Then, without thinking, don't discriminate. Just click on any topic. Okay. It will be a sub index, you know, another index of topics. And here, without discriminating, select any topic. And here, yeah. okay, now this is very important. Here, you have an audio. Okay. There are so many buses going to Montebello. There are many places in Montebello. How do I know which bus to take? First, Choose where you want to go in Montebello. So you have an oh. audio oh, okay. script with the script of the audio. So oh, okay. rule number one, do not translate to Spanish. At this point, you don't need to translate Spanish. Yeah. Ya sabes español, para que quieres saber más? Yeah, okay. Start at night, you can go like, okay, start again the audio and go like, there are so many there buses, so many buses. Listen first. Listen first. Yeah. Ah. There are so many buses going to Montebello. 
And then you repeat, there are so many buses going to Montebello. You even mimic, mimic the tone of, yes. mimic the tone. Oh, the, yes. And you go on, you go on. Okay, repeating, okay. repeating. And after repeating a few times, making sure that you make it, then you do something. You record yourself on your cell phone, reading this. There are so many buses going to Montebello. There are many places in Montebello. How do I know which bus to take? First, choose where you want to go in Montevello. And then after recording, you play the recording of your cell phone at the same yeah. time as the recording on the website. So both, simultaneously. Yeah. Simultaneously. Yes. Okay, and you okay. will be able to compare your voice with this voice on the website. Yes, I know, but because when you are, uh, when you, uh, hear your voice in a, another in a um, device, right? You can hear something stranger, right? You can feel not very well. <laughs> you can hear well, yeah. Hear you, yeah. That's true. So mm -hmm. that's a good experience to hear your own voice. In fact, okay. in fact, record, rec make a recording of yourself. Okay. And save okay. it. Save it on your computer. Whenever you go to advanced, <laughs> you can hear it and you're gonna laugh. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you for uh, that uh, tool, right? And I, I take a note and I practice a, a lot and approach approach uh, my vacation. <laughs> the, we, we still have two. Yes. Minutes. We still have yes. two minutes. Let me yes. help you with one more thing. If uh, uh, yes, and I don't know if you. Hear something, a uh, muletia, or you say bro, bro, bro. Oh, the the buffers. Yeah, yeah. Buffers, that, sorry. Buffers. Yeah. That will that will take care of it. That will take okay. listening, repeating, listening, repeating. The last thing, la última cosa que quieres hacer es, es traducir, no traduzcas. Okay. okay. Um. There's still one thing. Okay. La próxima va a ser un minuto. Let me see. Okay. Ok. Cualquier verbo gramatical que te hayas aprendido hasta ahora, puedes aplicar una dieta. Todos los días, every day, hacer cinco uh, veces esto. Agarrar un verbo y una palabra yeah. que están relacionadas. Lo voy a decir en español para apurarnos. Verbo, palabra relacionada. Y empezás positivo, negativo, pregunta. Este es un ejemplo de presente yeah. simple. Entonces, uh -huh. hago, hago uno, positivo, negativo, pregunta. Uh -huh. Hago dos, diferente verbo, diferente palabra. Positivo, uh -huh. negativo, pregunta. Tercer verbo, tercera palabra. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Cinco veces. ¿Ya? Exactamente así. Right. Okay. okay. I, can, I take a picture right there. Let me see. Okay. Sure. Yes. So, yes. cinco veces. Ocupa colores en el verbo nuevo. Ocupa colores en la palabra nueva. Ocupa colores en la auxiliar. Hiciste esto el lunes, el martes empezás con el pasado simple, miércoles con presente perfecto, jueves, y así vas. Y jugando con los tiempos gramaticales que más te cuesten. Yes. Ok. Thank you. This, Thank you. this session will be recorded on the, on the um, platform. So you can see it. Ah, ok. 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 okay. okay. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Rafael. My pleasure. Ok. Take care. Ok. Take care. Good night. Good night. Well, it looks like nobody else is coming. Since this video will be recorded, guys, let me remind you to participate on the forum, on the discussion forum on the, um, on the platform. Remember that you can always um, go on the platform after we have our classes. You can go at the bottom of the video right after we finish the class or next day as well. In fact, I'm gonna go right now to the to the platform so you can see how you can use the platform and make sure you're adding more comments to the discussion forum. So when you access your course, hey, 
when you access your course, most likely what you're looking at, this is the third class, so I'm gonna go to the second class. You may have already done this, but just in case. Okay, here you have. Okay, so that's the video from yesterday, from Tuesday. Here you have the discussion forum, all the way to the bottom. You can go to add a post, okay? And you can make a question or start or continue with a discussion, you know, what is discussed? What is discussed? Well, what we're discussing right now, let me close this one, is, let's see, for example, everybody's talking about PLC, okay? I actually started this conversation. Let me see, I should have added, uh, let me show you the previous topic. I added uh, a topic at the beginning, a question that you were supposed to answer. And that did that on the first video, on the video conferencia numero uno, product life cycle vocabulary. Okay, there, I actually opened the, um, I actually opened the discussion forum with a question. What is PLC? What are the four stages of it? Have you ever been part of the development or market introduction of a new product? So you were supposed to uh, answer to the forum. There are no new comments. So, and I'm supposed to go in and, and reply to you with, uh, let's see, here it is, okay. So I was supposed to answer to you, reply to you with a correction of your typing which is very important, take a look. So let's see, who's this? Um, Alvin, Alvin wrote this, see? And then I answered, I replied to him with um, bold letters, correcting what was wrong or the area of improvement, I don't like to say wrong, the area of improvement, what he needs to correct, you see? So it's very important for you to um, always reply on the forum, okay? I'll stay here while we record as I'm waiting for another student. We are on the one-on-one sessions for the first time. Today is Wednesday. What day is it? Today is Wednesday the 29th, okay? July 29th. Okay, I'll be here.
and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you one simple trick that you can use to become a fluent English speaker by spending just 10 minutes a day. The best part about this is that you don't need a partner. You can do this by yourself. This is a technique that has worked for many of my students. And if you do what I tell you in this video, I guarantee that you will become more fluent in English. So what is this trick? Well, it's a technique known as jam. Uh, no, not that kind of jam. This is actually a little fluency game based on a show that airs on BBC Radio. The reason is it's called jam is because it's short for just a minute. This game has three stages. So here's how you play it. You're going to talk about a topic for one minute. That is, you're going to give a speech without any preparation. So you just pick a topic. You can either take general topics like sports, hobbies, friends, books, etc. Or you can choose a question. For example, what is your favorite mode of transport? And once you have a topic, you speak. Now when you do, there are some rules. The first rule is that you cannot stop speaking. You must talk for the full minute. If you have to pause to Hello, Patricia. Hi, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Teacher. Hey. Um, can I speak Spanish only today? Sure. Claro que sí. Siéntase libre, Patricia. Dígame lo que quiera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> es que fíjese que estoy bastante triste. ¿Por qué? Bastante desmotivada. Porque estoy consciente que no tengo mucho vocabulario. Ese es mi problema, mi mayor problema. Entonces, mi gran pregunta es, ¿todavía puedo eh, hacerme de vocabulario para estar en este, en este nivel? O mejor, retrocedo un poco y... y a otro nivel antes, ¿verdad? Inferior. Uh -huh. ¿O cómo hago para hacerme de vocabulario? ¿Qué, qué, okay. ¿qué me recomiendo? Lo que le está ocurriendo a ustedes es el estrés de todo estudiante. No se preocupe. No se estrese. Con usted vamos a agarrar otra, 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 otro approach, otro acercamiento. ¿okay? Perdón, que no tenía la cámara. No, me había fijado. no, no se <risa> Ok, uh, bueno, sí, la verdad que sí. A ver, Patricia, es importante que, que modifiquemos algunos factores ahí. El principal es la confianza. Entonces, tiene que confiar en usted misma, ok. Eh, tiene que entender que usted es capaz de hacer las cosas y creérselas, creerse, repetirse todos los días. Yo puedo, yo puedo. Número uno. Número dos, eh, ya llegamos hasta acá. Le quedan nueve meses para terminar el módulo, el, el, um, el programa. El programa tiene 20. 4, quiero ver, ajá, tiene 24, no, 18, 18, tiene 18 módulos, perdón, mi perrito acá, está el ventilador. Ok, Ay, pena. entonces. Le, le digo algo, sí. eh, yo, a mí me, me, o sea, estoy muy interesada en aprender inglés, me gusta, uh -huh. me gusta eh, eh, los idiomas, uh -huh. y particularmente el inglés. ¿Me es importante para mí? Me, ¿Me sería útil en mi trabajo? Ok. ¿O me es útil porque yo trabajo en contabilidad y pues las normas que hoy vemos, las NIF, famosas NIF, pymes, eh, viene el original en inglés. Entonces, y a veces ni traducidas están y hay que esperar a que se traduzcan. Entonces, sí me es muy útil, pero ahorita me siento bastante frustrada. No, no, no. Y quiero quizás irme a regresarme a niveles <ríe> no. anteriores. Mire, le voy a dar algo para que usted lo haga de ahora en adelante. No es necesario que yo esté con usted para que haga esto. Es decir, no es necesario sí. que tenga a mí como profesor. Esto es algo que va a hacer usted de ahora en adelante durante toda su vida hasta que, bueno, no, nunca termina de aprender un idioma, le soy honesto. Uh, pero sí, número uno, seguridad. 
hay que agarrar disciplina y agendar el tiempo que yo le voy a dedicar a esto todos los días. Su principal sí. área de, de, de oportunidad. Reconozco que no, que solo he estado con las clases, no, no le he dedicado. Ah. Y, la plata, y trabajar en la plataforma, pero fuera de ahí, nada. Vaya, ok. El trabajo fuera de, de las clases de la plataforma es muy importante. Yo empecé a aprender yo solo desde los siete años con un diccionario. Jamás he salido de El Salvador, jamás he ido a otro país. A otro país, ni siquiera a Guatemala. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo lo hice? Fíjese que lo único que hice fue agarrar vocabulario con un diccionario. Luego, eh, pues fui investigando en las bibliotecas porque en los noventas no había internet. Agarraba un verbo, una palabra relacionada al verbo. Y decía trabajar, horario, buscaba la traducción al inglés y empezaba. Investigué cómo era la estructura del presente simple, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Y empezaba sujeto, verbo, complemento. Sujeto, negativa, verbo, complemento. ¿Cómo es? Auxiliar, ¿ok? Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Y así. Empecé a hacer esto cinco veces todos los días. ¿Sí? Okay. Y esta es la tarea que yo le dejo a mis alumnos. Okay. saliéndome de, de algunas cosas, ¿no? Entonces, lo hago cinco veces. Una, cambio, dos, cambio el verbo, cambio el, eh, la, la palabra y vuelvo a hacer positivo, negativo, pregunta, cambio el sujeto. Ojo, su cerebro, a su cerebro le encantan los colores. Ocupe de esos lapiceros de cuatro minas, les digo yo a los alumnos. Ocupe un lapicero de cuatro minas y empiece a ocupar colores para las cosas más importantes, lo que usted quiera que su cerebro se grabe. Ocupe colores. Y cinco veces, verbo, palabra, verbo, palabra, verbo, palabra, ¿ok? Y así, cinco veces. Este es un documento de PDF, yo se lo puedo enviar a usted, sí, mándenme un, un mensaje directo para que usted, ¿de qué nos va a servir esto? Esto sirve para adquirir la estructura gramatical sin darse cuenta. ¿Cuál es su esperanza, Patricia? Su esperanza es, claro, esto lo va a hacer con presente simple, con el pasado simple, pasado perfecto, presente perfecto, cualquier tiempo gramatical que usted ya haya visto, lo va a reforzar de esta manera. Su cerebro va a agarrar la estructura gramatical y su esperanza es que ocupando apareto 80-20, de estos cinco verbos y estas cinco palabras, por lo menos dos verbos y dos palabras diarias se le van a ir quedando. Se lo aseguro. Uh -huh. A mí me ha funcionado. Me ha funcionado con muchos estudiantes y le pongo el ejemplo de alguien que vendía pastelitos de, de, de verduras. Sí. Imagínense. Y de eso se pagaban las clases de inglés. Bueno, esa señora le dedicamos tanto, le dedicó tanto empeño que en seis meses ya estaba hablando. A los ocho meses de estar donde trabajaba yo, consiguió trabajo en un call center y ahí está trabajando. Y claro, todavía tiene el puesto de, de pastelitos, pero ahora alguien trabaja para ella. Entonces... Sí. Y mamá Luchona, ya está en el puerto de la libertad de su señora. Bueno, niño, señora, una muchacha súper buena onda. Entonces, todo requiere de compromiso personal. Sí, Eso. pues yo, de este, verdad que cuando empecé a estudiarlo, bueno, toda mi vida he querido aprender inglés, pero por el tiempo no había podido. Y esta oportunidad me parece, pero buenísima, porque pues a mí me está saliendo gratis, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, yo digo, qué gran oportunidad. Y ahora que, que nos está dando usted dos clases diarias, me parece excelente el, el, la oportunidad, pero me siento frustrada porque yo digo, bueno, hay compañeros que los veo que, que, que tienen vocabulario y ya se defienden. Sí, el grupo. Y entonces yo me siento frustrada, apenada y, y quiero correrme. Los adultos tendemos a crear paradigmas desde pequeños de las cosas que son buenas y las cosas que son malas. El problema es que vamos creciendo y a esos paradigmas, ¿a quién nos saca de eso? Entonces, va a ser un poco más difícil, pero nadie dice que no se puede. Entonces, ánimo de verdad, luche con esa, con esa idea de que, de que usted quítese el no puedo. En lugar de decir no puedo, diga yo puedo. Quiere estar salud. Sí. Miren, no es mentira, yo llevo tres años sin gripe. ¿Sabe qué es lo más chistoso? A mi esposa le dio coronavirus, a mí no. A ella le dio zika, a mí no. Le dio la chiqui, a mí no. A mí no me han inyectado contra influenza y no me ha dado nada de eso. Yo todos los días me repito, soy una persona muy saludable, soy una persona muy saludable. Sí, ser positivo. Ya he escuchado que dicen que la, la gente que tiene este, 
solo ideas positivas en su vida, pues aún con el coronavirus, ya lo, con lo coronavirus ya lo había escuchado, que son las personas que no les da o que si les dan, no les sucede la mayor cosa. Soy asintomático, o sea, a mí no. Así, gracias. Qué bueno. Muchos dolores de articulaciones, un decaimiento, pero aquí estoy, gracias a Dios. Entonces, ánimo, de verdad, le digo, sí, sí se puede, ¿ok? okay. Entonces, eh, le envío... Eh... Mándeme un mensajito directo y yo le envío ese, ese PDF para no salir en otro texto, porque es muy importante no salir de la plataforma, de estar en las clases, asistiendo, y no se desanime, por favor. Si es más, escríbame la hora que usted quiera. Ahorita lo único que hago es dar estas dos horas de clase. Durante el día paso con mis tres hijos ahí cuidándolos. Pero le puedo contestar a cualquier hora del día. Eh, cualquier sí, tengo una pregunta. Perfecto. Y, y el, pero eh, donde le escribo es a su, a su número. Y en el WhatsApp estoy, en el grupo de WhatsApp estoy yo. Ah, al grupo le escribo. Sí, para poder. Okay eso más personalizado yo le voy dando seguimiento cómo va la tarea ah, cómo okay. va su gramática tranquila lo podemos Está bien. pero sí le ruego no me vaya a descuidar la plataforma el programa porque sí es importante su asistencia no pero yo trabajo más que todo lo, lo realizo las tareas uh -huh. eh, el fin de semana porque fíjese que vivo en Santana trabajo en San Salvador es, es el, el tráfico es terrible. A puras penas alcanza a llegar a las 8 acá. Soy de Santa Ana, del Palmar. ¡Ay, qué bien! No, <risa> pero sí soy originaria de allá. Ah, vive en San Salvador. Ahí está mi hermano todavía. Eh, no, ah. tranquila, no se preocupe. Yo, eso sí, vamos a dar el primer paso. Ahorita que terminemos de hablar, busque un calendario. Es más, abre una hoja de Excel y póngase a agendar su día a día. ¿A qué horas usted le va a dedicar? Una hora todos los días, si quiere aprender rápido. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, una hora. Por lo menos después de la clase, quedarse media hora, una hora, haciendo estos ejercicios de gramática para poder agarrar eh, la gramática más rápido, ¿ok? Ponernos al vocabulario. día. vocabulario. ¿Mm? Gracias, Tichan. Un placer. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Patricia. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. To catch your breath, it's okay, but you cannot pause for more than three seconds. Even if you say nonsense or you say something unrelated to the topic, it doesn't matter. You're just going to keep talking. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is you cannot repeat the same ideas. That means you can't just say the same things over and over and over again. This isn't pronunciation practice, it's fluency development. So no repetition of the same ideas. And rule number three is no writing. You cannot make any notes while you are speaking. You must only concentrate on speaking. These are just the three rules. So to begin, you need a timer. This can be on your smartphone, for example. You start stage one by starting the timer and you speak until the one minute is reached. I'm going to give you an example of how to do this. I'm going to take this question, what is your favorite mode of transport? And I'm going to speak for a minute on this topic. Now, I haven't done any preparation, so let's see how I do. Okay, so what's my favorite mode of transport? I would have to say that it's the train. That's because um, uh, actually you get to see a lot of nice scenery, beautiful landscapes and things like that. And, uh, you know, uh, train journeys uh, generally tend to be longer than other types of, or, um, or, or rather other modes of transport. You can see that I'm really struggling for ideas, but I can't stop. I have to keep going. So I'm saying whatever comes to mind. That's no problem. But uh, back to the topic at hand, 
Yeah, train journeys, because they're longer, uh, they're more relaxing. And uh, one last thing I want to mention is that I've had the opportunity uh, to meet interesting people and uh, make friends on many train journeys. As a kid, I used to ride the train a lot with my family. Uh, we, used to, um, uh, we used to go to a lot of places by train, and it's actually something that I, uh, I really enjoy. Ever wonder why so many people say they want to learn guitar, but very few actually learn to play? It's enjoy. Phew, that was hard, but that's okay. That's the whole point of this exercise. That was stage one. Now we're going to move on to stage two. Here's where we're really going to start building our fluency. The first part of stage two is making notes. So you can use a paper and pen now. And you're going to think back to the speech that you just gave and collect ideas that you came up with. In my speech, I remember that I had three ideas. The first was that on train journeys, uh, you get to see a lot of beautiful scenery. The second idea was uh, that train journeys are longer, so they're more relaxing. The third idea was that you get to meet interesting people and make friends. So once you have these ideas down, you're going to repeat the exercise. That means you're going to set your timer for one minute and you're going to speak again on the same topic. But now you can use your notes to guide you. You will notice that this time you are actually able to speak more fluently because you have some uh, good ideas on paper and you will be able to expand on your ideas and give more information. Once the timer hits one minute, you stop, and we move on to stage three. Just like in stage two, you're going to go to paper and pen, but this time, you're going to add more ideas to your notes based on your second speech. I added some ideas like this. So now, for one final time, you're going to speak again. This is your final speech. So you set your timer for one minute, you use your notes, and speak. I'm going to give you my final speech based on my notes so you can see the difference. So here we go. My favorite mode of transport is actually the train. I love train travel for two or three reasons. The first is that the journey is usually longer than when you fly on a plane or even when you travel by car or bus. So as a result, it's very relaxing. Another big advantage is that you get to see a lot of scenery when you ride a train. Now, if you're riding the subway and your train is going through a tunnel the whole time, then obviously you won't see any natural beauty. But if you're lucky enough to ride a train through the countryside, I'll tell you, that's an incredible experience. But for me personally, the best part about trains is that you get to meet people and make friends, especially on some of the longer journeys. Even if you don't take each other's phone numbers or become best buddies, you still get to have great conversations and meet some really interesting people. So those are the three reasons why I enjoy train travel so much. All right, I know that that was a little over a minute, but that's okay. If you are in the flow, you don't have to stop at one minute. You can keep going. As your fluency improves, you can challenge yourself by setting your timer for two, three, or even five minutes. But uh, did you notice uh, how much better my second speech was? I actually improved my fluency on this topic over the three stages. Now I know I said that there are three stages to this exercise, but there's a bonus stage if you're really serious about improving your English. That stage is record yourself. Once you have finished speaking for the third time, you can give your speech once again but this time, you speak into your cell phone or a voice recorder. This is fantastic for two reasons. Because first, you can then listen back to the recording and you can identify what areas you need to improve, particularly your pronunciation. But also, if you keep your recordings on your phone or save them to your computer, you can come back to them after a few weeks or a few months and listen to them and see how much you have improved since that time. I know that many of us hate listening to our own voices. We feel really shy and embarrassed. But trust me, this is a very powerful way to improve your speaking, recording and listening to yourself. 
Of course, if you don't want to do that, you can just do jam, the three stages, and that will help you to improve your fluency. And it takes only 10 minutes. I suggest that you make this your daily fluency workout. Do it at least once a day. Practice doing jam on many different topics, and if you do, I guarantee you, you will become more fluent just practicing by yourself. All right.